The world has seen enough darkness. I've been hiding my light long enough! Demacia must lead by example. I believe in you. Not just Demacia. Orn Luxana, sister to Garen and member of the prestigious Crown Guard lineage, tasked with protecting the kings of Demacia. Lux, as she preferred to be called from her earliest age, was taught to fight, ride, and hunt. While her brother Garen chose to follow the family tradition and join the Dauntless Vanguard, Lux harbored different aspirations, dreaming of venturing far beyond Demacian borders to explore the world. Her parents, however, frowned upon such notions, and as their only other child, they expected her to take up the role of custodian and defender of the family's estates. Garen pleaded with his younger sister, telling her how important of a duty it was, and though she idolized Garen, she railed against his insistence. She would not put her ambitions aside simply because it was expected of her. Lux questioned everything, her teachers, their way of thinking, and often debating with those around her. Though it was an impossible task to grow angry or hate someone like Lux, her zest for life like an inner radiance, soothing even the most ruffled of feathers. Lux seemed to have taken the state of affairs for granted, however, learning just how poetic this euphemism truly was while taking a solitary ride in the northern mountains at dusk. As the last light of the sun sank to the west, her horse lost its footing on a patch of ice and fell, breaking its leg. Lux, now stranded, was too far from the nearest town to reach it before nightfall, and too distraught at her horse's pain to leave him behind. As darkness descended and Lux settled in for a night alone on the mountaintop, a pack of hungry saber wolves scented the horse's blood and began the descent from their dens in search of fresh meat. Lux had not yet returned home. Garen and her father, becoming worried, rode out in search of her. What they found was Lux laying next to her horse and the singed and scorched corpses of six saber wolves scattered around her. She refused to talk about what happened and demanded that her father rescue her horse. So a wagon was dispatched from their home and Lux spent the next few months nursing the animal back to health. Since that night, Lux knew she possessed abilities beyond those of everyone around her. Magic. She struggled with the thought that she was an abomination. Demacians despised magic. Would she be hated? Would she become evil? Fear gripped Lux, and she spent her nights sleepless, squeezing her eyes shut and clenching her fists to stop the light from rippling up from under her skin. After a strange night in the capital, when Lux was 13, a night where it was said that a great stone colossus walked abroad in the darkness, she returned home to Silvermare, her fear replaced with determination to embrace her powers. She began to slip away from her bodyguards, riding off into the wild forests far from the judging eyes of Demacia. It was here she would give free rein to her magic, slowly learning to control and even master it, bending and weaving light to her will, creating blinding flashes bringing forth a radiance into the palm of her hand, or even summoning illuminated figures from thin air. One night while training, Lux came across a nest of flesh-eating creatures, preying upon a small village's inhabitants, and tracked them to their forest lair. Without hesitation, Lux attacked, destroying countless of the creatures with blasts of light. But in her rush, she underestimated their numbers, and they quickly overwhelmed her. Just before one of the monsters could tear out her throat, a grade of radiant ones, whom had been tracking the monsters, attacked their lair and put them all to the sword. They had seen what Lux could do, and escorted her back to Demacia, presenting her to the innermost circle of the Illuminators. Here she was given a choice. Use her powers beyond the walls of Demacia to learn of its enemies, or be exiled forever as a wielder of magic. 
shocked that Demacia had an order of magic users. Lux looked on in awe, but she could not pass up the choice that was given to her. It was too enticing to refuse. Lux accepted and became a member of the Illuminators. Returning home, Lux's parents were informed that their daughter had been chosen to service the crown and nothing more. Though surprised, they were pleased that Lux had finally found her place in Demacia. Lux now travels beyond Demacia's borders, learning everything she can, free to wield her powers. But she still keeps them hidden when returning home to visit her parents and brother Garen. To them, she is a loyal servant to Demacia. But in her eyes, she remains the youthful girl with a dream of exploring Runeterra. And to the enemies of Demacia, she is the blinding light that puts an end to the shadows they might cast over her homeland.